Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. Yeah, it should be a good game, obviously. Um, winning the Scottish Cup last season and hunting to defend your, your kind of title, and that's got to be a difficult obstacle, obstacle to, to do, but it's something we're looking forward to, and, uh, and hopefully we can get a positive result on Saturday. I don't know much. My my mate Chris Mitchell's played there for the last year and a half, um, uh, so I was going to get him a wee phone, but I thought I'd better just leave it. So we'll just go there. I'm sure the manager and Carl and uh, the, the scouts and that have been watching them. We know it's going to be a difficult place to go on the on the Astro turf as well, and uh, with, their, with their fans, they'll be right up for it because it's a it's a cup game as well against the the, the Scottish Cup holders. So it'll be a it'll be a difficult match. Yeah, and I, and I think if you look at the results of the weekend as well, I think they won five now as well. So they'll be they'll be right up for the game. They'll all be looking forward to it. They know that hopefully St Johnston will be bringing a big um, travelling fans as well. So it should be a, should be for making a great cup tie. Yeah, it's always going to be difficult. I don't think it's been done um, too many times. Obviously, the old firm in that with exception. Um, apart from that, I don't think there's been many teams that have went on and, and done it. But it's something that we're looking forward to to trying to to achieve, and, and hopefully we can start on Saturday with a good run. Yeah, it's been good. As I say, it's been a long, it's been a long time being out injured, but it was something that had to happen just to make sure that I was able to come back for the, the remainder of the season and to play the last three games has been great. You know, hopefully now we can kick on and start picking up the wins that we, we feel we deserve. You know, I think on Saturday against Motherwell we, we deserve to pick up the three points. Um, so uh, you know, if I can just keep playing and get as many games under my belt until the end of the season, that'll be good for myself and uh, my fitness. Yeah it's, uh, yeah, it's always difficult. Uh, I think just as soon as I got injured, we went on a wee kind of losing streak where we lost five or six in the bounce. So obviously the guys were, were a bit downbeat in that. So it was just a case of you know trying to be around the boys and uh, and picking them up. And then you know come the end of my, my rehab, we picked up quite a bit. I think we won six on the bounce and we were on a good run. We were undefeated in ten, I think. So um, as I say, if you ask any player, it's always difficult sitting watching the game on the sidelines rather than being involved. It's it's a lot more nervous as well for some reason, so you know it's uh, it's a hard thing to do, but it's something that all players go through, and it's just it's good to, it's good and nice to be back. I've played there part and parcel throughout my career, you know, at Falkirk as well. I used to get swapped about as well, and it's something that I'm quite comfortable doing. I think the manager um, probably prefers me to play in the centre as well, you know. So I mean, it's nothing new to me on a on a personal point of view, it's, and it's something that I enjoy. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I think. Um, I didn't think we would have signed anyone in the, the January transfer window, you know, just speaking to a few people about the club. So to get someone uh, like Danny Swanson coming in, who done particularly well at Dundee United and got his, his good move down south, and obviously for one reason or not, it's not worked out down there, but hopefully he can come back up here and uh, rekindle the form that he had at Dundee United that got him his move in the first place. And, uh, and just speaking on, uh, on Brad Mackay, I think um, speaking to people you know, around Hearts and that as well, they say he's a good lad, he's a young, young lad with big ambition to go and play first team football so bringing him in as well it adds a bit of uh, youthness to the squad you know as I say we need to bring a we've got quite a, a, an older squad if you would like to say um, so that'll bring a freshness to the squad in the summer and, uh, and hopefully it comes in and does well. It was a massive disappointment not only for myself but for uh, Murray Davidson as well we'd been at the club for a long time um, to pick up injuries that late in the, in the season and, and miss the big day but um, it was great for the boys, it was great to be involved, the boys made us feel part of it and hopefully this season myself and Murray can make a contribution later on in the rounds, you know, if we get through Saturday, uh, hopefully later on in the rounds we can make a contribution as well and, and go on and look to, to push on and get back in that final.